Currently getting ready to go get my hair cut with Annie. I have shown her in many vlogs. Just getting a quick trim for my Japan trip. で、この髪を取り結ぶ前に予約したからなんていうのもう6月だから暖かいから1日ダウンタウンでブラブラしてそれをブログしようとかずっと考えてたのになんと雨で after my haircut today, I'm thinking of browsing a couple shops um, to get a few more clothes, but I'm only going to buy it if I really love it. You know, if it's just kind of like, okay, then I'm not going to buy it. Just because I'm trying to pack light and I also might find something I really like in Japan. So I really don't want to bring too many clothes. But if I fall in love with something, then I'll buy it. Probably just look in like Urban Outfitters and like Brandy Melville or something like that. So I saw this place on Instagram, like a Vancouver food page, like a month ago, and I was really curious as to what it's like here. And it's basically like a Japanese slash Italian, or sorry, not Italian, um, French inspired croissant cafe, and it's super cute. They have lots of options, and on their menu online, like a tofu nama ham sandwich and they told me that their most popular flavor is raspberry lychee, so that's what I got. It's super cute. Okay, ライチなんだけど、ちょっとラズベリーが酸っぱめでライチが甘くてとっても美味しいわ。初めてこんなの食べた。なんか食べてみたことないの試した方がいいかなと思って普通のチョコレートとか大体私頼むんだけど、これに
Service was amazing. The man was super nice and it came out right away. I got the original acai bowl. Ooh, very rich color. Mm. Oh, it's very fragrant. It's really good. Yum. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I think I've gotten a lot better with like filming outside, especially because earlier at um, Finch's Cafe, there were these three girls that were like giving me the dirtiest look. <laughs> and I don't know if it's because I had my camera or because I was alone or what, but they were just judging me so hard. And I don't know why, but I kept filming and I was like doing my own thing. and. I don't know, I just feel like I'm a lot better at filming now, you know? With like people staring at me, it's like, whatever. This is where my heart is, oh you know it's true No matter where I go, I'm coming home to you Just reviewing the vlog really quick before I get into my lesson at 4 p.m. Downtown was a lot of fun. I had a fun time with Annie, but I woke up pretty early today and I also did a lot of socializing So I am so sleepy right now. Like I was trying so hard not to fall asleep um, on the train ride home いっぱい食べれたし楽しい一日でした。二人のレッスンが終わったらあの貯めて今日はお風呂入ろうかなと思います。thinking of just having a relaxing night and sleeping pretty early. I've been getting on a better routine of like sleeping before midnight, so I really want to keep that going. close off the vlog here but I want to kind of share a little bit of my thoughts with you guys for a second so about two weeks ago I read a quote that said everything happens for me not to me and I really really liked this quote it just came at the right time and it just really like hit close to home and I just want to share that with you guys you know if you're going through something hard if you're wondering like why did this have to happen to me getting in the habit of thinking this is happening for me you know it's for a reason it's not happening to me and I really liked it and I just kind of wanted to share that with you another quote that I have said many times um, I feel like I've said it quite a few times in videos um, is your direction is more important than your speed and I really like this one as well just because it gives me a reminder that even though I may not be where I want to be in life right now I'm working towards it and I'm on the right path for it I don't have to get there quickly but rather like enjoying the process as well being focused on the direction and I really really like that one so I want you guys to think about it just some food for thought you know I wanted to share with you some words that 
got me through some stuff and whatever so also like helped me stay motivated but anyways that is going to be it for today's video I hope you all had a wonderful day today. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.